So until our last lecture, we wrote this reporting util dot write test result library, and now we know that how we can pass the value for our store procedure using this write test result method. This store procedure, the sp underscore insert result, right? So now we have to call this write test result method with these parameters: the feature name, scenario name, step name, and we have to pass exception if any, and then we have to explicitly pass the result as either passed or failed. That's what I'm going to do right now. So let's see what is going to happen. So if the assert dot r equals is going to be let's say true, then it's going to be passed. If it's going to be failed, then it should insert the failed result. But as of now, if you use the assert dot r equal, it is going to throw an exception of the failed or passed to the test ng framework. Right? That's how it is going to work. Because you're not going to really do anything using the if conditions here, you are actually doing using the assert dot r equal in here. So we will actually try to command this code for now, and we will get back to this once we are going to make use of this assert dot r equal using our framework. But as of now, let it be the commented one, and we are going to pass a value using the hard coded value, either passed or failed this time. And let's see what's going to really happen. So for the write test result method. We have to pass a series of parameters. Something like you can see that it expects us to pass feature name, scenario name, and something like that, right? So if you just go to the particular method definition, it expects the feature name, scenario name, step name, and exception. So the first thing is going to be the feature name. So how do we get the feature name? Is there any way that we can get the feature name right now? As of now, I'm just going to pass the feature name as just the value which we need to pass in something like login feature, right? So I'm just going to pass login feature. So I'm just hard coding all the values right now, and it's a really really bad practice. But as of now, we're just going to do that. And then we need the scenario name in here. So the scenario name is going to be the scenario name that you are seeing in here. The check login, the correct username and password. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it over here. And then it expects me to pass the exception I guess or the step name I guess so the step name is going to be this one I should see the username with hello so I'm going to pass that as well and then it expects me to pass the exception if any so as of now I'm just going to leave it null or I'm just going to leave it as empty and the final value which we need to pass in is going to be the passed or failed so I'm going to just say passed for now so I'm just making my test case as passed explicitly for now. So let it be. Let's see what's really going to happen. So let me also open our errors underscore reporting application because it is going to show us the result. So I'm going to run this particular application. So as of now, there are 198 results and there is uh, no results in here so far. So let me try to run this test and see what's really going to happen. So I'm going to run this particular feature right now. Let me also run the exit auto employee application because I have also shut down that application. All right. So application is in here right now. Let's try to run the login feature and see what's really going to happen. So basically we expect the test should run and it should insert a detailed report as well within that particular test cycle ID. All right, it's going to enter the username and password this time. There we go. And now it should have inserted a value in here. So now you can see that the test got passed. All right. And now let's go to the errors automation. And let's come down here. So now we have a 200 in here. So basically so far we have seen that only it inserts a test cycle ID for this particular test report summary, but it won't insert any detailed report yet. So if I click this time, the 200, you can see that we have a value in here, login feature, check login with the correct username and password. I should see the username with hello and the result got passed. So this value is actually coming from the value that we inserted in here. You can see that it is actually inserting the value in here, right? So this is how we are inserting so far. 
But in our next video, we are going to remove some of the hard coded values from here. And also we're going to make use of the assert.r equals in a much sophisticated way than the one which you are seeing right here right now.